All right, so we're going to try this again today and uh, start over. The, uh, in order to run an Android app, we need to download the Android SDK first. And you go to uh, developer.android.com, and you, there's some download links here to download the SDK. And you want to download it for your particular platform, obviously, if you're on a Mac or Windows or whatever. So once that's downloaded, uh, and, and we did that yesterday, once that's downloaded, uh, we have that SDK here on our computer. And the SDK manager is the program that lets us manage what types of uh, platforms that we're going to target with our Android uh, application. So we're going to choose this Android 4.3, and I've installed all of these uh, just because I can, and I, I downloaded the documentation, so I have all of these Android 4.3s installed. Some of these come automatically, the SDK tools, platform tools, and build tools. Those are installed automatically, and you would install or update from, from here. So it, later on, if you want to build an Android app for 2.2, you'd have to download the 2.2 platform SDK and, and use that to develop your, pro, your program with, to compile your program with. Inside of this SDK manager, this will solve a problem that IntelliJ has. If I look at tools, I can automatically create my Android virtual device before I start creating my Hello World in my IntelliJ. So we need to create an Android virtual device. And what that is is just a virtual machine running on my computer that will emulate all of the properties of an Android device, like a tablet or a phone or whatever. So let's, uh, let's create a new device. We'll call it uh, Dave's Tablet. And I'm going to emulate a Nexus 7. Uh, we're going to target the Android 4.3 level here. Uh, and the CPU, you can choose which type of CPU it has. Um, I'm going to choose the Intel Atom x86. I don't need a camera right now, so let's just continue on with that and say OK. Uh, some of you guys did. I didn't, though. So we'll see what happens. So now I have an Android device. I can start it and uh, launch this little emulator, and it will, you'll see it, it will be running the Android OS on the screen here. Failed to allocate memory. It looks like it didn't run. All right, so let's change the memory down. 768. Let's start it again, see if that works. There we go. Oh no, that was uh, already running from previous. So that's, this was, it's very slow. Just so you know, it is very slow to run this emulator. So I'm starting this up. This will take a while to actually load the Android operating system and come up with a start screen. So from this point on, we will go ahead and open up IntelliJ and create our application. All right, so we've got IntelliJ here. We're going to create a new project, and we'll call it uh, Hello Android. And we want to create an Android module, not just a Java module or a Java Hello World. This is going to be an Android application. And here is where we needed to choose the uh, Android platform if you had more than one installed. If you didn't have one, you can say new and find where that uh, uh, development kit is. All right. 
in this case, this was on my desktop because that's where I moved the Android development kit. So I would uh, navigate through my desktop to find that. But I already have this here. All right. So I've already done this. So we're going to overwrite it. And we're going to use this emulator. Ah, see, it still didn't see it. So because uh, I think I had IntelliJ open. So let's quit. This darn well better work. So I'm going to restart IntelliJ. Oh, really? Because it was on the desktop, maybe. Got wiped out. So we'll try it again. There we go. Now I've got my Dave's tablet, and we're going to create it. The hello world automatically called my activity, and we will finish. All right. Look at that. It looks like it's working. It's not red anymore. Um, what I had to do was, as I was creating that yesterday, was uh, when I created a new project, I had to uh, recreate this SDK from here, remake a, another link to the SDK, and that seemed to work. So uh, it's a little bit flaky, I think. I also upgraded the IntelliJ. There was a new version that came out. so. That probably helped a little bit as well. All right, so let's uh, run this. And it should compile. It's doing its make down here, compiling away. Oh, great. Got one error. R, you got to be kidding me. So let's look at uh, the project structure. This is the structure that tells uh, all of the different pieces that we're running. This tells the platform that we're running uh, and the language level. Uh, the SDKs are here. These are all the, the class paths for the SDKs. So if there's a problem with that. Um, what was the other configuration? Let's edit the configuration and change this to just launch the default activity and see if that fixes it. That was something we did yesterday. Still doesn't find it. Well, let's recompile it. Really? you got to be kidding me. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So the problem is that we have to get the SDK and JDK, and I think this is bugs inside of IntelliJ. But you have to m play with this project structure and make sure that y these are pointing to the correct places. And so I've had to. Uh, remove these and re-add them, and somehow the pointers inside of IntelliJ then get reset, and it's able to build. So yeah, build and rebuild up here are, are what we need to do. So I built it. It launched it. And because my, my little Android tablet was already running, it launched it automatically into here. So this is the program that is running from this uh, this my activity here that is the hello android all right that is the the program that's running pardon me
Yeah, the main program is this My Activity. And you're, you're asking where this Hello World came from? So let's, uh, that is in the, um, no, there we go. So the, the uh, main, let's go back to the uh, project so you can see where I was at. Under the resources, these are different levels of resources. So if, if for instance, you want to have uh, a, a, an icon on your screen, then you have to present a high, ver high definition, high DPI version of your ping and a low DPI and a medium and an extra high version DPI of your, of your icon so that it will look the same size because if you have a 2000 DPI screen like an iPad, the new iPads, and you put in a 100 by 100 pixel icon, it's going to be really tiny, right? But that same 100 pixel icon looks okay on an 800 by 800 screen, right? So you're, you have to enlarge that quite a bit to make it look the same on all of these different ones. So for every icon, every resource, you have to have these four different versions of that. So the main layout, this is the main page for what the, uh, the Hello World will actually run. This My Activity launches this main.xml file, this main uh, layout. So layout main is in the layout main in the resources folder. So when I double click this XML file, um, IntelliJ knows that it's just a text file. It's XML is just a text file. But it lays it out, and I can actually launch, look at that as text. This is the layout.xml file. In Android, everything is an XML file, except for the Java source. And XML, all that is, is looks like HTML, right? Uh, X, HTML is a version of XML, in a sense. Uh, we have opening tag and a closing tag. And then we have properties. So this could be like an A tag with some different properties in it, right? And then we close our linear layout tag here. We open it here. So it looks a lot like an opening and closing div something like that. So the, uh, the XML is almost identical to uh, HTML. So you should be able to read that at least, understand what it is. So the easiest, uh, I could actually add some properties and stuff elect uh, typing it in here. But it's easier to design this. So this is the, the text view. This is a, they dragged and dropped, isn't that great? I can drag and drop something on the screen, and it creates that. And then I can edit the, the text that's in here and say, hello, world. Uh, my name is Dave. Yay. And so if I rerun this now, it will recompile that and launch my new, my new app. Here's the Android tablet. And it's going to send the app to my tablet and eventually run it automatically for me. So now it says, hello world, my name is Dave. Isn't that sweet? We finally have an app that runs. Now we can play. Does that make sense? Yeah, there's nothing there, right? <laughs> what the heck is this? So. The main code, all it does, if I look at back at my the uh, my activity, uh, all it does is load the the view and display it. That's all that's doing. Who is? Not me. What is it? Okay, update. The whole IDE. I tried to update the IDE. There, I can't find five. Go here and say check for update. 
Because I updated mine yesterday, and it came out with a newer version. Check for update. See, mine won't find any because I've already updated. Mine already has. See, we'll have to do that after class then. All right, so we have a view. Let's uh, let's just add something else to our main XML. Um, Let's add an image view so we can drag and drop an image view over here. And as we drag and drop it, look at this uh, top little bar. It says, do you want it on the left? Do you want it in the center? Do you want it to fill this, this row here? Or you want it on the right? So I'm going to put it on the right. And then there's my, my image view. And I have to tell it what image do I want to put in there. So I go down to my source here, and I can search for an image. This is uh, this is a little one that's already in my uh, project structure. So I'm going to use this little Android icon. All right. So now I've got my little Android uh, icon there, and I can run it again. Oops, run it again. Yep, it takes a little while. It is running. It's constantly running. I never close my tablet. Don't ever close your tablet. It'll take you five minutes to start it again. Just leave it open. So now I've got a little icon. Isn't that cute? He's cute. His name is Dave. His name is Dave. All right, so you can you can lay out things just like in uh, C Sharp Visual Studio, right? I can add things. I can add list views, some text views. Let's add another text view down here and put it as a fill parent. And a fill parent is to to go all the way across its parent. The parent is the screen in this case. Um, I can move it and just make it left. Uh, and it takes up the sm whatever space is. I can click and move it. I'm going to want it to be centered. And then we can we can double click on the text and change the text and say something like uh, all right. I can change it to say body mass calculator. And the properties, this is a lot like C Sharp. I can come down here for this particular item and change the, uh, the width of it, the style. Um, I can change the font down here, the text color. Let's change the text color. No. Nope. Yeah, isn't that great? So I'm going to make it bold. I can change the typeface to be uh, sans. I can uh, change the size to be you know, uh, now I have to remember this here just a second. No, it's all, everything is based on resources. So even the strings that we create, uh, they'd like you to create them as resources so that you can localize it easier. And then you reference these resources that are in a different file, and then you just have to replace that file with Spanish file, and a, you know, then your app doesn't have to change. So... So the text size is defined as uh, device pixels. So that because a device pixel could be different depending on the device, right? I want this to look relatively that size, whether it's on a small little screen or a big gigantic screen. So device pixels, 20 device pixels is a relative size based on the entire dots per inch of the screen that you're running. So I can make that bigger. I can make it 
30 device pixels. Nice and big. That's pretty good. So let's go and run that, and then I think we're out of time. So let's at least see this guy. Look at that. Nice. So even though my screen is a lot bigger, relatively it looks big enough, you know, to read. So isn't that interesting? All right. So we'll play around with that more tomorrow. We'll actually build a uh, BMI calculator. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, isn't it? So, uh, so Monday we will do that.